Hey there everybody, Mazarok here, and today, Blood DK fans rejoice! Oh my goodness. Okay, so the nerf that was planned for tomorrow has now been reverted. So let's talk about this right here. So initially what they wanted to do is change the two piece for Heart Strike now increases the duration of Dancing Rune Weapons by 0.33 seconds instead of the 0.5 seconds that it was, effectively making it a 1.5 second a one second extension on dancing rune weapon from 1.5 second which was a huge nerf to the survivability of blood uk especially in higher keys now what they're doing is they're chain they're reverting it so it's back to 0.5 seconds the maximum strength cap is now 40 where it was 75 before this is a much better change i will admit blood dk was doing a buttload of damage <clears throat> absolutely crazy stuff was occurring but as if you're looking at nerfing a tank never nerf their survivability that was just not smart but they listen to the community here so let's read the blue post we will modify the planned adjustment for the dancing rune weapon extension from the two piece reducing the maximum stack of the strength bonus down to 40 from 75. our initial goal was to rein in the power of the overall set bonus as it far exceeded our expected value for a tier bonus when played well when I, if you're watching my nerf video, I talked about the technicality of blood DK. This is where this is that statement coming into play right there. However, this nerf also hit the lower end harder than intended while also making blood DK feel worse playing around option optimal gearing and mechanical play to maximize the potential of the bonus. Who would have thunk it? Oh my goodness. We will instead shift to reducing the maximum strength cap so that the playstyle of the set bonus remains relatively unchanged, but the damage capability and to a lesser extent, some of the defensive power are pulled back to a more appropriate value. This is fine. This makes a lot of sense. But do you know what this is right here? This is them listening to the community and the community feedback. Because this is what everybody was saying when i covered it i was saying something of the sort not necessarily nerf the strength cap but i was saying this was a wrong direction to go in other people had commented on reducing the strength cap and things like that but pretty much everybody agreed this first one was the wrong direction to go in luckily that is not going to be happening tomorrow may 3rd uh so they're really starting to listen to the community feedback and really kind of not double down on dumb decisions or anything like that. This is way to go, Blizz. I really like this way to go. Uh, let's talk about the Rogue, for example. All damages and abilities are increased by 4%. We'd like to extend our thanks to community uh, to the community for all of your discussion on the proposed adjustments. We really appreciate being able to harness the power of your feedback to make changes to the live game. Just what I was saying. Really, that's what it is. Because the strength of Blood Decay that we've seen in the last two weeks in MDI does not necessarily purport itself or put itself into live key function, into live gaming. What the MDI is and what live keys are aren't the same. They are not. And they were nerfing this hard based upon the performance of Blood Decay in MDI. But guess what? There's 24 teams in the MDI. That's 24 tanks. That's possibly 24 people playing blood dk 24 double digit 24 not the thousands of blood dk's that actually play this class and love it and the spec and have been playing it since 9.0 or before or however long they've been playing it and to finally see them in a good spot just to get crushed into the dirt because let me tell you what for the last two seasons not 9.2 but 9.1 9.0 being a blood dk and trying to pug keys guess what I wasn't automatically invited to everything. I got declined a lot. And I mean a lot. But if I played a meta tank, my goodness, I could get into any key I wanted to. So now that Blood Decay is in a good spot, I'm glad that they're listening to the community feedback and this going on. So tomorrow, May 3rd, this is the new nerf going into play. They're going to cap the maximum stacks to 40, which was 75. And they're not going to be killing dancing room weapon into the dust so what do you guys think do you guys think this is good on blizzard did they listen correctly uh what would you have done differently all that fun stuff like comment subscribe it goes a super long way uh for everything cannot do it without you we are so close i think as the recording of this video we are one away from 1500 subs thank you so much everybody have yourselves a good one
I hope you guys are enjoying 9.2, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy 9.2, and I hope you guys are excited for 9.2.5 as much as I am.